Good Geek TV. Hi folks, this is Matt here from Good Geek TV and this is part two of our Caribbean Scenery Series 1. We are in Martinique, which is in the West Indies, or the Caribbean, and we are taking off from Martinique Aim Césaire International Airport, which is French of course, and the ID for this airport is T for Tom, F for Fred, F for Fred, F for Fred. Now Martinique is located in Le Lamentin and is a suburb of the capital Fort de France. It was opened in 1950 and renamed in 2007 after author and politician Aime Césaire. The airport resides at an elevation of 16 feet, 5 metres above mean sea level. It has one runway designated 10 stroke 28 with an asphalt surface measuring 3,000 metres by 45 metres so it's around 9,840 feet in length. There's police, customs, baggage claim, pharmacies, baggage uh, claims for handicap and handicap facilities, uh, there's a tobacconist, there's bank, there's money exchanging, souvenir shops, tax-free shopping, gift shops, florists, hairdressers, car rentals, taxis, parking, restaurants, cafes and bars and there's two hotels at the airport as well. There's a uh, 747 freighter dock, there's bonded warehouses, transit zones, mechanical handling, heated storage, refrigerated storage, mortuary, fresh meat inspection, health officials, very large and heavy cargo and express and courier centres as well. The aircraft that we're flying today is the classic Boeing 727-200. The 727-200 is a mid-size narrow body three engine jetliner built by Boeing Commercial Airplanes can carry 149 to 189 passengers and later models can fly up to 2400 to 2700 nautical miles. It's intended for short and medium length flights. 727 can use fairly short runways at smaller airports and it has three Pratt & Whitney JT-8D engines below the T-tail the 727 is Boeing's only tri-jet aircraft and it's the only one without a conventional tail. The 727 was heavily produced in the 1970s and the last 727 was completed in 1984. An interesting fact with the 727 it's one of the most noisiest commercial jetliners. It's categorised as stage 2 by the US Noise Control Act of 1972 which actually mandated the gradual introduction of quieter Stage 3 aircraft. And the JT-8D jet engines use older low-bypass turbofan technologies, whereas the Stage 3 utilise the more efficient and quieter high-bypass. Aircraft has a length of 46.69 metres, wingspan of 32.92 metres, cruising speed of 550 miles per hour and a service ceiling around 38,000 feet, 35 to 38 I believe if that's correct. The livery is Air Canada and Air Canada flies to Martinique and out of Martinique to only one location which is Montreal Trudeau so Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport. Air Canada is the flag carrier and the largest airline of Canada. It was founded in 1936 and provides scheduled and charter air transport for passengers and cargo to 178 destinations worldwide. The Air Canada fleet consists of around 204 aircraft. 
and as of the 24th of November um, 2010, their fleet today ranges from Airbus 319-100s through to Boeing 777-300ERs. This particular 727 uh, from uh, Air Canada is the livery for the mid-80s. Martinique, a French pronunciation, is an island, this island, in the Lesser Antilles in the Eastern Caribbean Sea. It has a land area of 1,128 square kilometres. It is an overseas region of France, consisting of single overseas department. To the northwest of Martinique lies Dominica, and to the south, Saint Lucia, and to the southeast, Barbados. has quite a large population for the size of the island. It has around 402,000 people, and that's from an estimate back in 2008. It's part of the Ar Ar Arpeleggio, I hope I pronounced that correctly, of the Antilles, and it's located in the Caribbean Sea, around 450 kilometres northeast of the coast of South America, and around 700 kilometres southeast of the Dominican Republic. The south is more easily traversed through it still features some impressive geographic features because it's easier to travel and because of the many beaches and food facilities throughout this region. The south receives the bulk of the tourist traffic and the beaches from Point de Bou through to Diamant which features right of the coast of Roche de Diamant and that's essentially the area uh, where in the north at the moment flying over these mountainous regions and where the airport is it's to the south. As a part of France, Martinique is a part of the European Union and its currency is the Euro. Its official language is French, although many of its inhabitants also speak Antillean Creole. Martinique owes its name to Columbus who did land on the island on the 15th of June 1502. And it was then called Journa Cario Martinio, which came from the mythical island described by the Tainos of Hispaniola, but according to the historian Sidney Daney, the island was called Genesera by the Caribs. Guys, I just want to take this opportunity and say thank you very much for watching the video and if you like it, please would love a thumbs up on the channel. And of course, your comments are incredibly valuable, so please comment and please rate, of course, and uh, would love to get your subscriptions as well if you're new to Good Geek TV. This is Matt and just want to say thanks very much for watching. Good Geek TV. Good Geek TV.